Hey everyone, in this video we will walk you through everything you need to know about the Helios welding visualization system from Cron Technologies, from unboxing and setup to system operation and teardown. This system is designed to capture every intricate detail of a welding process with precise clarity. Let's start by unboxing the Helios system. It arrives in two cases, one with the Kronos camera and gear, and the other with the Helios lights, liquid cooling unit, and accessories. We'll walk you through the contents to make sure you have everything for setup. In the camera case, you will find The Helios kit includes all the components needed for the lighting and liquid cooling setup. Here's what's inside. With everything unboxed and ready, we can start the setup process. Start by attaching each of your Helios lights to a small magic arm. Simply screw the mounting screw at the bottom of the light into the magic arms clamp. Next, connect the magic arms to the cheese plate. The placement of the cheese plate depends on your preferred setup, so adjust accordingly. Now, take the medium sized magic arm and attach it to the other side of the cheese plate. Finally, secure the medium magic arm to the Mafer clamp in the center. To mount the Kronos 1.4 camera, first grab the large Manfrotto arm and its attachment. Now, take the Manfrotto arm and attach it to the back of the Mafer clamp. To secure it, press the button down on the clamp to connect the arm, then tighten the screw knob to lock everything in place. Once the arm is secure, attach it to the camera. You can mount it on the side or any of the available mounting holes based on whatever position works best for your setup. Now, I will show you how to set up the liquid cooling unit. Let's begin by cutting the water tubing for the unit. You will need two long cuts of tubing from the Helios to the cooler and a short cut of tubing between each Helios unit. Ensure cuts are straight perpendicular to the tube. Here is a close-up of the non-perpendicular cut. If the cut is angled like this, water will leak out. Connecting the Helios light to the liquid cooling unit is simple. First, start by installing the tubing by pushing it firmly into the connectors and liquid cooling unit nozzles until you feel a click. Now, connect the water cooler to the first Helios light using a longer tube. Then use the shorter tubes to connect the Helios lights together. Finally, connect the last Helios light to the water cooler with the second longer tube. First, unscrew the top of the unit and use the funnel provided to pour in the deionized water. Spilling is okay, just use a paper towel to wipe off the excess water. Next, plug the 12 volt power supply into the liquid cooling unit. You can add more water to the unit as the water flows through the tubes and ensure that the water is flowing through the tubes without any leaks. Monitor the system until the bubbles dissipate, then refill the water to the correct level. If needed, you can gently shake the tubes to help the water run smoothly. You should see the water start flowing smoothly. Finally, check the liquid level in the water cooler reservoir. If it's low, refill the cooler to ensure everything is operating at its best level. To connect the Helios lights, start by pulling the stoppers out of the sink ports. Then connect the lights by plugging in the 3.5mm to 3.5mm cables between the sink ports.
Once all the lights are connected, make sure to attach the termination plug to the sink port on the last light in the chain. I will now mount the camera to the side of the table. Use the knobs to tighten it securely. The exact placement is up to you and depends on how close you want the system to the weld. Next, attach the lens to the camera to complete the setup. Now, mount the Helios lights to the table and tighten the knobs on the magic arms to your preferred placement. To power up the system, start by plugging the Helios lights into their respective 24 volt power supplies. Make sure the power goes into the power in port. Next, plug the BNC to 3.5mm sync cable into the sync port of the Helios light. Take the other end of the cable and connect it to the Kronos 1.4 camera. Then, plug the camera into its 19 volt power supply to complete the connection. With everything mounted, clamped, and all cables plugged in, make sure all knobs are tightened. You're now ready to begin using your fully set up Helios system. Let's walk through operating the Helios system. Start by turning on the Helios light. It offers two modes, constant on and strobe, both providing powerful LED output. Use the intensity knob to adjust the brightness as needed. Here, you can adjust the power output using the intensity knob. In constant on mode, the LED runs continuously at a power level between 3 watts and 100 watts. Now, let's switch to strobe mode by adjusting the system. In strobe mode, the Helios light will pulse in sync with the strobe input signal. The LED operates at peak power levels of up to 1000 watts, and you can adjust the intensity through the knob just like in constant on mode. Next, let's set up your Kronos 1.4 camera. Start by powering on the Kronos and you'll see the boot up screen appear. Once it's powered up, navigate to the settings menu and go to the trigger IO settings. Here, you can select frame sync output for IO1. Now, set your desired resolution and frame rate based on the specific needs of your project, whether you're working with slow motion footage or standard recording speeds. Now that your Kronos camera is set, turn on the Helios lights and switch them to strobe mode. You can set the intensity knob to maximum for most applications. Now, let's begin recording. Simply press the red record button on your Kronos. Next, adjust the camera's shutter duration. For pulsed mode, keep the duty cycle under 10%, ideally around 36 degrees, which is about 10% of the frame period. If the image appears overexposed, simply close the lens aperture to adjust the exposure. If overexposure still persists, you can either reduce the light intensity or move the lights further away from the subject to achieve the perfect exposure. Once you've captured the footage you need, press the record button again to stop recording. For optimal performance, monitor the indicators on the back of your Helios lights during setup. If the overpower indicator is on, reduce the duty cycle or intensity until the warning clears. If the over temperature indicator lights up, the lights will stabilize themselves over a few minutes, however this shouldn't happen if cooled properly. Once everything is set, you're ready to start capturing high speed weld footage. Safety is key when working with the Helios light system. We recommend wearing the protective glasses in your kit to protect your eyes from the intense light. Before starting, ensure the Helios light lens is clean. Dust can damage the unit and affect performance. If needed, replace the lens by unscrewing the front ring, removing the old lens, and installing a new one.
The Kronos 1.4 in the Helios system comes with a band pass filter installed. We've also included a separate visible light IR cut filter, allowing you to use the Kronos 1.4 as a standard high speed camera when needed. If you're already using the BNC port on your Kronos for external triggering, simply connect the auxiliary trigger cable to the black Phoenix connector. This provides an extra trigger for your system. To disassemble the Helios system, start by turning off the Kronos camera and Helios lights. Unplug all cables and disconnect the sink ports. Detach the tubes and disconnect the water cooling system from the lights, then unmount the Kronos camera and remove the lens. To disassemble the liquid cooler, switch it off to prevent the pump from running dry. Next, pull a tube from the loop and drain it lower than the rest of the system. Tilt the cooling unit to ensure all liquid is drained. Use the female to female tubing connector to disconnect items without leakage. We recommend you to replace the deionized water every three months. That concludes the Helios Welding Visualization System setup and overview. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or feedback, please email us at infocrontech.ca and our team will be happy to assist.